we have some more news regarding Diablo 4. It's now known that March 20th will be the next Campfire chat. It's going to be a public test realm reveal. They're going to talk about Season 4, itemization, and as they put it, a lot more to discuss. Now, we're going to read the contents of the communication, and we're also going to explore the question, and I bet that a lot of the Diablo 4 players are thinking about right now, will this finally, finally fix the game? I hope you'll join me and stick around. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, so as per the communication from Diablo 4, get your first glimpse at sweeping changes coming to Diablo 4 on March 20th at 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Join Community Director Adam Fletcher, Associate Game Designer Charles Dunn, Lead Live Class Designer Adam Jackson, and Associate Game Director Joe Piapora as they detail the massive itemization changes coming to Season 4. We'll discuss how affixes, item stats, the Codex of Power, and the new in-game systems will change the way you stay and load across both seasonal and eternal realms. Additionally, there will be much more to share in the campfire chat for your first look at Season 4. We'll also detail how to access our first public test realm in Diablo 4, available to PC Battle.net users. This PTR allows you to get your first taste of all the changes coming in Season 4. During the PTR, we'll listen closely to your feedback to make adjustments before the season arrives for all. We'll also hold a Q&A segment at the end of the stream for players to field their questions directly to the team. Okay, there you have it. Those are directly from the words of the Diablo 4 dev team. And it looks like we're going to be learning about the PTR and itemization in reference to affixes, item stats, and the codex of power and the changes that are coming in game. And it sounds like we're going to get a glimpse into season four. Um, I'm sure people that have read this communication, specifically the console users, are probably very upset at the fact that they don't have or will get access to the public test realm, sorry. Uh, the PTR is only going to be available to the PC uh, Battle.net users. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see kind of the feedback that uh, Activision Blizzard King is going to get from that. And really, I'm trying to figure out why they are limiting it only to the PC users on Battle.net. If you truly are looking at ways to really get feedback i would think you should open it up to your player base and i would argue that a large chunk of diablo 4's player base resides on the console side not just on its battle net platform however that's neither here or there the good news is that finally after three seasons that they are actually incorporating a ptr the players have been kicking and screaming for this basically since the launch of the game. So great news and good on Activision Blizzard King for putting this better late than never, I guess. Now, regarding what we're going to see as far as exposure to Season 4, only time will tell. We'll see what they actually expose to us. But when we bundle this all up together and you take the history and what has transpired in this game to date, this is a colossal, colossal challenge that Activision Blizzard King has in front of itself come March 20th. And I present the following landscape that's going on right now. A lot of erosion with Diablo 4. A lot of players are playing other games right now and having, from what I can see, a lot of fun playing other games. Last Epoch, Path of Exile, Hell Divers. I can go on and on and on and on. Um, so there isn't a lack of games for Diablo 4 players to put their hands on and lose their time in. So the question is, will Activision Blizzard King be able to get these people back? Now, there's a good chunk of the population 
for the Diablo 4 franchise that are loyal to the game and are there and are waiting in, in anticipation. And I would argue, irrespective of what happens, they're going to play the game. They're going to try the game. And there's another good chunk of the player base that is not going to get back into the game until they actually see that there's something of value and their actual fixes that are in the game. Vis-a-vis -vis a couple of the topics that they're going to address, hopefully head on with itemization and season four. Hopefully they expose us to something good that's going to entice players to get back. Now, people are going to get exposure to season four by the sounds of it with the PTR. Now, we still don't know how much in advance players are going to be able to get access to the public test realm prior to the launch of season four. So we'll see on March 20th if they convey to us and share with us when the PTR is actually going to be available to the Battle.net Diablo 4 players. I personally think this is huge, a campfire chat for the Diablo 4 dev team. Now, there are Diablo 4 sold 10 million copies. And even though there's an eroding player base and a lot of players have left Diablo 4, there is still a ton of players playing this game. Um, they sold 10 million copies after all. So they have still a huge population of the player base playing the game, even though I would argue a good chunk of them have left just because they don't find the game fun anymore. There's no itemization and the end game is very lacking. So put that all together, mix it in a mixer and put it in the oven to bake. And what do you get? You get one campfire chat that is probably the most critical since the launch of this game. So it's going to be very interesting to see how it's handled, how it's communicated, what they say. There has been one L after one L after an L every single time with not only how this game is being communicated and managed, but also the lack of the sense of urgency. There's such a lack of urgency with this development team. So it's going to be very interesting if they take this opportunity and learn from the past and understand that the player base is aching for something good to happen, a W. We need a W. Need a home run, a grand slam. And hopefully the Diablo 4 dev team can deliver on March 20th. Only time will tell. So we're going to learn more in a couple of days. And we'll get back to you. And we'll talk about everything Diablo 4 with the campfire chat. But I have to say, I don't think I'm the only one, but I would argue that there's a huge chunk of the Diablo 4 player base that's not going to be sleeping too good for the next four or five days until this campfire chat. Because I would argue a lot of people are nervous that this might be the last nail on the coffin for Diablo 4 if they don't deliver in spades with this campfire chat. Anyway, time will tell. We'll see what happens. Just wanted to give you an update on what's going on. I've gotten a lot of feedback so far. There's been a lot of people coming in my streams with a lot of rumors about what's coming down Diablo 4 in the future, like a lot of rumors, and I don't want to speculate. Uh, that's not what I'm about. Uh, when we hear speculation, we call it out and it is speculation, but there's a time and place for that. I don't want to get into the speculation right now. We'll just wait and see how the March 20th campfire chat goes. It's going to be a doozer. Get your popcorn, guys, because this is going to go, well, it could go three ways. It could be a tie and people are still going to be upset. And what I mean by tie is it's going to be good, but it's also going to be not enough. So people are going to bitch about that. And then if it's a home run, this game looks like it's going to be back on the table. And every, well, not everybody, but a big chunk 
of the Diablo 4 player base is going to be going on and on about it and super excited to play Season 4. And worst case scenario, if they don't deliver and it's another dud, like their last campfire chat where it looked like a corporate presentation, everybody looked bored and tired and it was it looked it was a PowerPoint presentation basically. If it's one of those on March 20th, Ooh, I don't even want, I, I can't even predict what's going to be the outcome after. That's that's not going to be good. Anyway, we'll see what happens on March 20th. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think? What's your take on what they mentioned in these notes? Just curious to kind of get your take on what was said in the communication about the campfire chat for March 20th. Get in the comments and let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And I do want to say one thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Three days without a video. And I really don't want to get into it. Let's just say I had an epic, epic failure with my PC. Uh, my cooling system for my CPU just burned out, went out, and was... and. My computer was overheating and let's just say uh, three days of hell, which translated into actually more than three days. Um, but that translated into obviously not having a PC and scrambling to get it fixed as quickly as possible. So apologies for the lack of videos. I assure you, if I have a PC, I'll be creating content. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. If you can like, comment and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And as always, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.